Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to solve another exercise. Here is our outline. We will see the exercise and then the algorithm and finally the solution. So the exercise is the following. We want to read the user's name and age and display them in a proper message. Here is an example of running the program. So the user can enter his name and after that he can enter his age as you can see. And finally, we are printing the name and the age in a message. So we are reading two things from the user, the name and the age, all right? So I want you to pause the video and try to solve this exercise. Now let's have a look at the algorithm we're going to follow in order to solve this exercise. So first of all, we will display a proper message for the user. For example, enter your name and age. And after that, we want to read the name and the age from the user. So we are going to need a scanner object, right? And finally, we will display the name and the age in a proper message. So let's see our first solution. In our main method, I'm going to display this message, enter your name and age, right? So after this message is printed, I want to read the user's name and the user's age. So first of all, I'm creating my input object. And this is an object of the scanner class. And we're going to use it in order to read some data from the user. After that, I'm reading a string from the user with spaces because I'm using the next line method and I'm storing the result inside this string. It is called name, all right? And after that, I'm reading a double from the user and storing it inside this variable. It is called age of type double. So over here, I'm reading a double because the user would want to enter his age with a decimal part. Of course, you can read an integer or whatever you want, all right? And finally, we are displaying this message. We are concatenating our variable name with this string and then this variable and then this string, all right? So we are printing the name of the user and then you are and then the age of the user and then years old, all right? Now let's see a second solution. In our main method, I will print this message and after that, I'm going to create my input object. And then immediately, I'm going to print input.nextline concatenated to this string and concatenated to input.next double concatenated to this string. So over here, I'm reading the input from the user and immediately concatenating it with the string and then printing it, all right? So we don't actually need to declare some variables over here. So now let's solve this exercise inside IntelliJ. So let's start by creating our scanner object. So scanner, let's call it S and it is equal to a new scanner, right? And as a parameter, we will pass system.in. And after that, let's import our scanner class like this. Now our scanner object is ready. So let's print the message. For example, enter your name and age like this, all right? And after that, we want to read the data from the user. I'm not going to create separate variables. Let's do it directly. For example, first of all, we want to print the name of the user. So we're going to use our scanner object and we want to read a string. So let's use the next line method. And after that, we'll concatenate the result with a string. For example, like this, you are. And after that, we will read the age of the user. So we will use the same scanner object and we're going to read a double this time. So next double, right? So what's important here is to notice that we are using the same object to read a string and to read a double. We don't need to create another object, right? So note that you only need one scanner object in order to read data from the user, right? Even if you are reading more than one thing. So now finally, let's concatenate one more string and this is years old. So like this, all right? So now let's run our program. So as you can see, our program paused the execution and it is waiting for us to enter some data, right? So first of all, we want to enter our name. Now start typing your name and as you can see, I'm typing on the next line. And this is because I'm using the println method over here. So let's use the print method and run the program again. And now start typing your name and as you can see, we can type it on the same line, right? So now press enter and now this string is returned by this method over here. And as you can see, we are calling the next double method. So our program will pause again, all right? So now we have to enter our age. So for example, 21. After I press enter, 21 is returned by this method and our string over here is formed, all right? And after that, it is printed by the println method. So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.